Hey everybody, this is Vicki from Bob's Upholstery. I just really want y'all to know how a decorator's life goes. I was ready to do the installation in Melbourne, Florida that I started like last year. I was headed down to Florida. I was called yesterday to get reservations for a U-Haul truck. Nobody would answer the phone, so I physically drove down there, which they did not have one. So I decided that I could probably do a pull behind a 6x12 behind our van that's sitting over here beside us that um, would accommodate me. Once we got into the shop, I seen that it was too small, so I run back up to the U-Haul to get another, uh, to get a 26-foot U-Haul. And what happened at that point, it all went downhill. Um, they first, I called. And the gentleman told me that I could go pick one up at an address, which was 305, no, 356 Shallowford Road, which is a house. So therefore, I was unable to pick it up. We went all the way over to the house. Then I go online and I look, and not only did he give us the wrong number, he sent us to a place where the man said I did not have reservations. Now this is through U-Haul's scheduling department. So I went over there, they did not have one. So I get on the phone, I call, they tell me to call the scheduling department to talk to the supervisor. Her name was um, Candace. Candace. And Candace has yet to call me back. She wasn't there yesterday. I called her at nine o'clock this morning. They told me she would be in, so I left a voice message for her to return my call. I have yet to hear from her. And it is now, what time is it, Shauna? 7.05. It's 7.05, and I, needless to say, I'm going to show y'all. I am sitting on the side of an interstate in this big U-Haul truck, and I just want to finish telling you how my story goes. So, we finally talked to the girl and tell her, I said, "Hun, I need one. I sent back a Brittany. We sent back the 6x12 trailer because it wasn't big enough. So then she sent me um, to another location to pick up a trailer, which was on 92. When I get there, the man says, I'm sorry, we don't have one for you. So I didn't get one, a 26 foot. Last night I was dealing with it. And I call her up and I said, if you would have listened to me, you would have heard me say that I needed a 26 foot she put in that I need another 6 by 12 trailer instead of a 26 foot cab over so she says oh I've got another one for you she says it's ready tonight go out on South Cobb Drive they're open until 9 o'clock needless to say they closed at 7 o'clock meanwhile the girl is saying oh my god and was really rude to me I have been on the phone with supervisors today my very first call was after I was sitting out on South Cobb Drive at 7 o'clock this morning to pick up a U-Haul, it took them 45 minutes to get it. I was the only person there, and it took 45 minutes for them to get it for me. I said, now this is a good camper. I, mean, I keep calling it a camper. This is a, a good U-Haul uh, because it's going to be two women driving. Oh, yeah, it'll be fine. It's a good one. Well, needless to say, we get back to Marietta, and something, it was like, cutting out and I said we you know we supposed to have been left out at five o'clock this morning and I had a deadline to be there I don't want to lose this big company that I do a lot of work for and we're talking thousands of dollars thousands of dollars and so I, I told them I said well I'm gonna go ahead and drive it and they said okay well we get on down the road guess what the air conditioner goes out so needless to say I have been sweating. Yes, my butt cheeks have been sweating. My pants are wet. My shirt is wet. I'm sure I smell delightful. And then we're coming down the road, and what do I see? A roach bug. A roach bug in this U-Haul. That's not it. I'm going on down the road. I've had the air conditioner out. I've had a roach bug. Smoke starts pouring out from it under the hood. So I've got a U-Haul truck here that they could care less about. I've been badgered by them. 
Um, I have spent lots of money. I have invested lots of money in people to make this happen. I'm still sitting on the side of the road whenever I'm supposed to be down there. They're sending a man out here to tell me that he can't fix this on the side of the road. And then they will see what they're going to do from there, which means they're going to have to tow it. So I want everybody to know how U-Haul treats their customers, but not only that, I want y'all to know that Decorate is not, absolutely is not the glory you think. Look at this beautiful sweat in this hair. It is so stinking sexy. I don't know how I can contain myself, much less anybody else. And Shauna's sitting over here laughing at me. But anyway, I'll let y'all know how it comes. I'm supposed to be done with this job in like two days. Haven't started. So, have a lovely day. It's been nice letting y'all hear me.